to try putting this here so it's not quite as high and if I zip this up a little bit let me take it in a bit Oops. again can here maybe not so let me do this hold on let's see what happens there all right so as you can see I got my 30 amp plug over here but it's not quite long enough as you can see and luckily this is a good cord so if I run a little extra I shouldn't have to worry about it so I just stop dropping crap okay so let's put that there Over here, another 30 amp extension. I should take this and try to get it started. Oh, and that power washer, I gotta get it out of here too. Alright, 30 amp, 30 amp, 30 amp. Hey, bud. Whoop, can't move that. The bottom's gonna fall out. Uh, I don't wanna just pull out a 30 amp here. I have to unravel it. Unless I need to do what I need to do. I think this is a 30. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is really unraveled. It's not hanging up. I don't think it is. No, this is a 30. Alright. It's nice having these around when I had the boat. Uh, I got some 50s around here too, someplace. But these came in handy. I used to leave two sets on the dock because we had twin 30s on the on the boat and uh, I took the dock box and I filed a little hole so when you closed the lid on it the cable was still in so by leaving it on the dock now we were in a great marina however uh, you don't want to trust anything so uh, what I would do is when I unplugged it from the boat I would take the cable put it inside the dock box in that little channel that I filed out and then when I close the top on the box and lock it this end was locked in this here way I didn't have to roll it up every time I needed it uh, when I come back to to the dock I would just open up that box pull the end out plug it in all right so let's take this one now I'll plug it into the other end of this now the plug on the welder is just a standard 20 amp plug, but I'm not comfortable with that, so that's why I decided to hook up this 30 amp job. Not only that, but they go in and they twist. I don't have the other piece on this one, otherwise I'd be able to screw them together, but I know it's going to stay. And I know that from here to the plug, I'm going to have a good amperage because I wouldn't want to plug in just a regular 20 amp cord and run this much of it. Come on, well, a little bit, but that's all right. There you go. So we got plenty of cord here. It must be a 50 footer. I wasn't even thinking about it. So maybe I should have taken the other one. All right. So now that will plug right into that. Now, like I said, uh, for the most part, this was a uh, a regular 20 amp cord, but I know that I have a good 20 amps going to where I want it to be. Let me get these tall out of the way. bring the water bucket out here. Nice. Keep a water bucket here with that hose and it's hooked up to the sink so every time I get water out of that because I can use this water for coffee. This is a, what they call uh, it's suitable for drinking out of the uh, the irrigation pipe that I put in. So I can use it for like I say for coffee and stuff like that. So when I turn the water on it goes into the bucket at the same time. 
they get fresh water. Alright, that's there. I'll plug this little cord down here. Plug it in. Over here. There we go. Let's turn that off because I'm not using it yet. Alright, so the game plan here is to uh, weld these into place. I'm going to keep this in here while I'm welding. I'm not going to weld this, but I want to keep this in here so it gives me an idea where I can weld and where I can't weld. Or where these have to be, basically, so I don't weld them by mistake in the wrong place. Alright, so that's going to sit there. These are going to get welded and tacked in. Once I get them tacked in, I will, uh, at that point, take that threaded rod out of there. Is this going to allow me to get in there? Maybe not. Uh, probably not. Not quite. No. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. No, not quite. Alright, so these aren't going to work for that. So let me look at the other pair. I just want to have something to hold them. And I'm making a cup of tea today. Tired of coffee. It's time to take a break. They say, however, coffee is good if you have a fatty liver. But uh, yeah, I got a little bit of fatty liver, but uh, I know a lot of other people that have it as well. Okay, you know what that's for? That's for working on a sink fixture up behind. Because you can't get your hand up there and you can't get a ratchet in there. So that's what that's for. Uh, bar. Put that back. Put those there. This shouldn't be in here because it keeps opening up and making it difficult. As well as this one. Those should be in another box. Uh, now, nah, speaking of the other box. Let's go over here. Because i got to get the other set up vice grips and I got them in this box. Here they are. Okay. I can take this, well, let me open them up a little bit, take this, loosen it, and bring them out here and still have my adjustment. So it'll help, it'll help. Got the paperwork sent into New Jersey. Ah, voila. Now, I wonder if I can only get one at a time, I'll be happy. Do I really need to do it here? I really don't. But I am going to do it here. scripts and put right here to hold this down until I get some tax on that. But uh, for most part, once I get that done, we're all set. It's going to be a little bit easier to do it this way. I was thinking yesterday at welding those two pieces right into the hitch, uh, but then it would have been a little bit more difficult to get those affixed because those would be up underneath. So I'm going to get those welded well and then I can do a lot of makeup on the outside if I need to. Uh, no, I should have just a pair of regular old vice grips around here someplace. Okay, apparently I don't have them in this draw. So let's go back over to this draw. Now I had a couple pair, so it might be a good idea to leave some in there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I... 
have been welding with these before uh yeah think okay so we're going to use uh, these and these uh and i'll keep a set of these over there as well because i don't need well actually uh i'll probably keep these over there i don't know i ain't gonna worry about it now i'm sitting here talking to myself waste some time oh, all right so let's put this here just in case i need it for something Let's open this up just a hair. Are you okay, Nikki? A little bit more than that. That's about right. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is get the hammer again. Yes, pain in the butt. You're definitely getting much better, however. Yes, you are. You just got to stop waking me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes. All right, so. Oh, and you too. You're another one, 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, examine that. There's nothing in it that can hurt you. And I can't have tea because I forgot to bring my cup out. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Kleenex for the news. I was talking about somebody that I know. And I consider him a friend. I mean, I'd have coffee with him and things like that. I used to boat with him. He was with the Coast Guard. Uh, the auxiliary. And, uh, you know, he was actually uh, a good helmsman and a good lookout. So he was good to have on the boat. However, uh, he has issues. Uh, he doesn't play it off as what his problem is, and I can understand why. Because uh, his problem is uh, something that goes up his nose. Now, he blames it on a deviating septum, septic, septum, whatever, in his nose. Because when apparently when he used to take the arts, martial arts, uh, he had fractured his nose or something, therefore uh, causing him to be what it is. Because he's constantly sniffing constantly and when he sniffs he kind of jerks his head a little bit as well well if you've been around people as I have that have a habit uh, those are uh, two things that we look for those are basically giveaways uh, and we uh, look for that kind of stuff then his attitude changes a lot uh, he went to the bank one day to get his, he, he deposited a check. They told him that the check was going to take three to four days to clear. Now, he had money in the bank. Now, this is hearsay. So he went back in a couple of days to take out some money. And they wouldn't let him take it out because there wasn't enough funds because apparently that check has like, for instance, if I deposit a check, we'll say for, well, I did, actually. I deposited a check for $750 into my credit union. It goes in immediately because I put it on the phone. I just take a picture and put it in. Uh, however, they don't give me the full $750 for three to four working days. But they will give me, like, three or four hundred of it. So I have a couple hundred dollars of it to use immediately if needed. Well, that's where it was with him, but he was a little beyond what they were actually going to allow him. And that's when we start having problems. Okay, I want voltage here. Uh, I think that's good right where it is. We'll get an idea anyhow. 
So anyway, he's getting a little pushy with the manager. You know, not where he's pushing him around, but you know, he's a little bit of a chest pounding, you know, attitude type thing. He goes, and on the way out the door, he said, man, I'll tell you, if I didn't have my money in this bank, I'd blow it up. Manager heard, blow it up in the bank. Cops are get called, he gets arrested. Thank you. 